Hello friends. So I figured that I would work on accountability for some of the habits that I want to sustain as well as build by filming myself actually doing them. So one of the habits uh, that I have been pretty good at this year, um, actually I can tell you exactly how good I've been at it because I track everything. I can tell you how many smoothies I've drank so far in 2017. I think I've been tracking, how long have I been tracking? I've been tracking since, I can tell you. Oh, I've been tracking since November. So I've been tracking all of 2017, how many smoothies I've drank. And I've drinking, drank, I've consumed 94 smoothies so far this year. And um, that does not mean that I've drank a smoothie every day this year, uh, which was my initial goal. But now it's just as often as possible drinking a smoothie in the morning and eating a salad for lunch. So I'm going to make a smoothie. So the smoothies I like to make typically are vegetable based. I don't do fruit smoothies because one, I don't like a lot of sugar in the morning and smoothies are when I'm drinking my sugar. And two, smoothies are the easiest way to, to get in stuff you don't necessarily want to eat. And so I don't always want to eat a salad and then another salad. So I drink one. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I put in my smoothie. I have a Nutribullet and this is my Nutribullet cup, which... I just cleaned it but maybe not oh I didn't dry it off okay don't pay attention to this part all right so there are already some ingredients in here because I started before I decided to make a video so I do three stalks of celery so I already have one celery stalk in here and I don't know if you know this but the way to de-string your celery is that you nick it so you don't cut it all the way through you just nick it so it's nicked and then you can break it apart and peel the strings away so that you don't have to eat them because the first time I put celery in a smoothie it was super stringy I was so upset and distraught and disgusted um, so now I destring the celery I don't know if this is getting rid of vital nutrients but all I know is I'm not drinking a stringy smoothie so destring my celery and throw that in the cup and I try to make quick smoothies too. Uh, vegetable based smoothies in my experience are a little bit easier um, than fruit based smoothies especially if you buy the pre-washed veggies. I don't know. I feel like fruit, I don't know. Fruit just seems messy. Me Peels and all that stuff. You don't have to worry about that with vegetables. You can put the whole thing in. So I take a baby cuke and just slice it up a little bit. The Nutribullet is really strong so I don't have to cut it up too fine. So, loose chunks of my baby cubes going in there. Um, and then a crap ton of spinach. This is pre washed, triple washed spinach. Um, and it's organic from Whole Foods. So, I just take like about two giant handfuls and stuff them in. Or one and a half, maybe, because that was, that was really a giant handful I just put in there. So. About this much spinach so it, it really is a salad and then the piece de resistance which no smoothie should be without is an avocado um, if you're like me and you don't eat a ton of meat or you don't eat meat every day um, you still want to get your fats in your healthy fats in um, and I don't do butter try not to do a lot of dairy I'm starting to eliminate it completely because it's just not it's not my thing anymore um, so I get a lot of fat from avocados and avocados make, I call them avocados sometimes cause it just sounds fun. Um, avocados are also, uh, they make smoothies smooth. I don't like juicy smoothies, like icy type smoothies. I don't like those. Um, and I also am not a big fan of like thick frothy smoothies and I feel like um, I don't know, avocados just give smoothies the perfect consistency. So I'm pulling out my pan. I actually cut this avocado the other day because I used half an avocado each time, but the last time I didn't cut it quite in half. So this one, I couldn't just take out the pit really easily. 
So I have to cut it again. And I have an avocado peeler, but I didn't use it this time because my avocado wasn't cut in half the correct way. But you can tell the avocado is good when there's no brown spots and you can just peel the friggin' meat off of the skin. That's what you want. All right, so have my half of avocado. And then I know you're probably thinking, Brandy, that is a salad in there. How is that going to be consumable or delicious in a smoothie? My secret ingredient for getting as many vegetables as possible without having to do, you know, fruit um, is coconut water. It is super hydrating, um, super delicious to me. I love coconut. And um, it just gives enough sweetness for my smoothie to be bearable, but not for it to taste like I'm drinking juice for breakfast because I'm not a juice person either. I don't like juice. I'm... I used to be one of those kids that liked lemonade to be tart. Like, I just, I'm not a juice person. So, pour a crap ton of coconut water in there, which, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of up to here somewhere. Um, and the good thing about this is that it, because it's so high drank, it's helping me with some of my hydration goals, too, even though I'm drinking regular water, you know, coconut water is good. So, I take this, and I'm going to throw it over on top of here. breakfast and when you think about eating a huge salad you know during lunchtime and that being all you need this salad is pretty I mean this smoothie excuse me is pretty similar um this keeps me covered for the first half of the morning I'm sitting right under the light I should have stood somewhere with more light but whatever um and you'll notice the consistency like it's dripping right off of that and one little cheat that I do, because I hate wasting ingredients, and there's all kinds of green goodness on here. So what I'll do is I'll take my coconut water, and I'll pour it on top of this, and it sort of rinses away that stuff. And I just pour it right in here. And then it's clean. I mean, it's not clean after rinse it, um, but I'm not wasting a bunch of my organic spinach from Whole Foods, which costs too much to be wasted. <laughs> You know, and that is my breakfast. Got a smoothie, all prepped and ready to go for tomorrow. And this, um, I don't start really eating or consuming like food um, until about nine in the morning. So I don't. I, I'm doing breakfast at work. Most people try and get breakfast before work, but it's too early in the morning. I actually, I'm probably gonna even start drinking this smoothie until like. 10 30 or so so that is breakfast and i will show you lunch another time maybe i don't know i'm not a cooking show host because i don't cook i prep as you can see hope that was nourishing for you mind body or soul i know that will be nourishing for me tomorrow morning and remember change is inevitable but growth is a choice i'm brandy keeler and i'll see you later